Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, uh, I am going to uh, lift or convert my garage into a, a high rising garage door. So I'm just gonna basically raise the 15 degree angle uh, track closer to the ceiling, as close as I can take it uh, without the door hitting the ceiling. So rule of thumb is a lot. Of, I've, I've read a lot of places. They say 10 inches from the ceiling. So, you know, stuff like that. But the first thing I got to do is basically unwind these two springs. Now you might ask why I have two springs in here. I used to have one and then one of them snapped. Then, you know, I figured I should have a backup. So these these springs are sort of an overkill for this garage door because this is a single uh single car garage door so it's a single door i should say uh it's about 110 pounds and uh these springs are overkill so all i have to do i don't need to get new springs because these are about three years old um i'm gonna unwind them then i'm just gonna wind it with like a few more twists this way uh i have enough power from the springs to roll the door up and down without an issue so first thing we're going to do we're going to unwind these springs and this is the most dangerous part of the whole belt i should say or a whole uh, modification so we're going to do this very carefully so stay tuned all right the first thing we're going to do we're going to need one of these tools which it came with the springs that i bought Right, so the, they're gonna go like so, and you're basically gonna put tension on it like this, move it up, and you know, do your thing slowly, and um, that's how you're supposed to do it. Now, if you're not comfortable about doing this, definitely consult with the professional, and yeah, let's do this. There's two screws here we're gonna uh, loosen up, but we're not gonna do that first. We're gonna put the bar in, then we're gonna uh, loosen one screw down here and then the other one so let's do that Okay, because you can see right here, I loosened that one up. It's already starting to tension out. So I'm just going to loosen a little bit more. And you see it's resting against the garage door. So um, it's not going to slip out. So that one's loose. I'm going to loosen this one. Okay. They're both loose. Now this part is very, very important. You guys want to be very careful when you do this. This comes down. Put the second one in. Next up. Get a rhythm going. Be very, very careful so it doesn't slip out. Okay. 
there's definitely a lot of tension on these springs so I hope you guys are catching this And if your hands get tired, you could just have it rest, you know, take your time, catch your breath. And once you get the strength back, because some people like myself, I have arthritis in my hands, so they kind of cramp up once in a while. So if I get tired, I'm going to let it rest. Then, you know, once I get my strength back, I go at it again. And as the tension lessens, this actually starts to rotate a lot easier and smoother. But still, don't let it go. Don't let it un uh, do it on its own. You have to guide it. There we go. And that was that. And you see it right here, if you guys can see, hopefully can, you can, can see it. Um, right here, you see how much tension there was? This kind of screwed in from here all the way to here. So I'm going to do the other side as well. Then we're going to take the pulleys out. Then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I removed some of the stuff from the garage door. Uh, so I removed the motor, I removed the pole, as you can see I already started to move that up, which I'm going to explain to you guys what I did and what, what else needs to be done. Um, so each garage ceiling of course is going to be different. Um, mine is, I want to say it's a 11 foot ceiling. So let me show you guys what I did. Uh, the way my garage door is set up, see how the whole thing is already built under and this part is actually welded. So, and um, if you can see here, there's got five holes here. I had to like kind of drill out the welding portion so it could be removed from the bottom piece right there. Now, uh, from the ceiling to here, uh, when I read, it says it needs to be about 10 and a half inches or 10 inches off the ceiling, but some garage doors are configured different. Some, uh, the braces are different. So you got to figure out how yours is, uh, uh, is set up. Um, technically from this point to the ceiling, if you have about six inches of clearance, you're fine. The door will clear it. It's the pole where the pulley goes and all that stuff and since uh, I put a high lift pulley I need to I need to make sure the high lift pulleys are a lot larger so here, let me show you guys an example of the pulleys um, so this is the regular pulley that it comes in it's supposed to sit like this right like that now This is a high lift pulley. This is gonna hit this. This is as close as I can get it to the ceiling, as you can see right there. So uh, anything higher is gonna it's gonna hit the ceiling, and I don't want that. So that's the that's as close as I could get it. I kind of you know I didn't want to get any closer. So this is as high as I can go. Um, but I ran into another problem. So there's a lot of uh, uh, description out there. It's like, okay, so you cut the other end and you put it in between the space here to here, to where the initial connection was. And um, now this now sits at an angle. So if I 
put this up straight. Let me. All right, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So this is gonna sit here like so. Push this in, and this is how it's supposed to sit. Okay, it's gonna sit in an angle whether we like it or not. Now, you see how this part is pushed out. So this piece. Uh, this piece needs to be pulled out about two, uh, two inches of uh, two and a five eighths. And as soon as that happens, this, this will align with this. So I'm going to have to take, I have to take this whole thing down again. Need to put a piece of two by four and a one by four. That will give me enough space to push this out to basically align with this piece right here. So um, again, each garage door is going to be different. Um, this is just how mine is, uh, and a lot of the ones that I see kind of have the same configuration, but. It doesn't really go into details because the because um, how different each garage garage door is in retrospect. So let me put the wood there. Let me reinstall this piece. I'm gonna re reinstall this, and you know we'll come back and see if we are fully leveled or adjusted and all that stuff. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So um, I put a piece of two by four in the back. I, that was enough. I didn't need to put anything else. Uh, I haven't bolted in yet. I'm just uh, kind of dry fitting this thing. Um, there's going to be a brace here, which is going to connect these two together. Um, there's also going to be braced there. They got these two are going to be connected together. Uh, I'm going to align this track, making sure, um, making sure it's straight all along. So I'm gonna have to move that just a bit to the left to make this whole thing aligned. I just need to make sure that pole on top is also straight and leveled. And once that's bolted in, I'm gonna brace everything up, then do the other side. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So both tracks are in, they're mounted. I sealed it. Um, they are very straight, you know, by eyesight, but, you know, can't really tell until, you know, the first test as we raise this thing up. So once yeah. I put the middle um, rod on and put the springs on, then we'll find out if we could lift this thing up. So I'm going to put those on and be right back. All right, guys, garage door is completed. Um, I just want to point something out to you guys. Um, you see where I have the two by four right there. That's uh, supposed to kind of push the railing back a little bit. Um, you might want to do a little bit further out if you have one of these locks here. So I made a mistake. I didn't count for this uh, handle here. So as I was trying to pull the door up, the handle was getting stuck. Right here, let me show you guys. Uh, it was getting stuck right in the middle right there. So it wasn't allowing the door to fully open. So I had to take the handle out, then I gotta figure out another thing for the lock, but you know, that's another issue for another day. So um, you want it to be slanted out a little bit more. At least uh, you could put another two by four there just to give it another uh, uh, depth, I, I should say. I'm not sure. You know what the terminology is for that but uh highly recommend it just push it back a little bit that way when the car when the door goes up it actually kind of leans out a little bit further out so it'll clear the path for the for the garage door lock but um everything's done um i did put some extra uh twist on the springs as i said i have two springs i don't this door does not require two springs but i had two springs on because one of them went out so you know long story but um, the pulleys are in. Those are the high lift pulleys that I purchased. I will put the link down below. Um, 
everything else is recycled nothing i didn't buy anything else um except these like l brackets right there to connect the bottom piece to there as you can see right there um but everything is recycled so this link is from back there so as you can see yeah my garage i put the posts up too so um but yeah let's open this up let's see if it actually functions But I'm going to show you what the issue was opening this. Small, I need to make small adjustment, not a big deal. But the whole thing was I wanted to make sure this thing goes up. And it actually will go up higher than that one. Alright, let me show you guys what the issue was. So you guys don't have the same issue. You see the wire for the pulley? As I was raising this up, what happens is the wire winds inwards, right? And the issue I have is that this wire is getting stuck to here and it's not allowing the door to go up. So that's a minor adjustment. It's not a big deal. I could fix that, no problem. The issue is my door is, a, my door is slightly off balance. See the gap here? You see how the wire is right behind it, behind the door? And see the gap here? You see how big, much bigger the gap is? That's a small adjustment I have to make to the, uh, to the pulley. And once I make the adjustment, this door is gonna function the, the way it's supposed to. So each door is gonna be completely different. So it, it will require some adjustments here and there. Um, again, if you're not comfortable doing this, definitely hire a professional. Uh, I did not hire a professional because I wanted to do this on my own. I want to see if I'm capable of doing this thing. And this is why I make this video. So if I made a mistake, I want to make sure you don't make the same mistakes. I definitely made some mistakes along the way. Hence why the door didn't go up the first time. Um, and you know, I don't like the fact that how the, here, let me show you this one. Um, I don't like the fact you see how the wire is hanging so closely to that 2x4 but once I make that adjustment to the door how the door is leaning it's going to fix that problem so few things it's not a big deal just you know little annoying adjustments that I need to do but other than that it works fine leave your comments down below let me know what you think I know I know I know this is not a professional build but this is for all of us two DIY guys. As long as the door's not falling off the rails, I think I did a great job uh, or a good job. Um, but yeah, minor adjustment. That's how you learn. This is my first time touching a garage door, rails, and anything like that. I don't have any experience in this field. So uh, if I made a mistake, I'm owning up to it. I, didn't, I made a mistake, especially with the lock feature of it. And... You know, next is going to be the garage door opener itself. I have an idea which I'm going to side mount the built driven garage door opener. So wish me luck for that one, guys. Until the next time, peace out.